morning. Welcome to edition number four of Wolfpack TV. I'm your host, Larry Reed. We're here at the Tournament Capital Center because today is Photo Day, a day that uh, all the athletes look forward to. This week, the only teams that were in action were baseball and soccer. In fact, we're going to start with soccer, both teams on the road. Let's open up with the women's soccer team as they're taking on the Pandas in Alberta. Edmonton was a winter wonderland in September on Saturday. Pack in black, pandas in white. They open up the scoring in the 23rd minute. Ball down the near side. It's crossed into the box. It eventually winds up on the foot of Carissa McNutt who opens up the scoring. Second half, 80th minute. McKenna Parks will feed the streaking Ali Parth who will break through the defense and strike the ball past Danielle Robertson and it's 4-0. 5-0 the final, Robertson the player of the match for the Wolfpack, she made 10 saves, Alberta 26 shots in the contest, including 14 in the second half. Saturday found the pack in Calgary meeting Mount Royal. After a scoreless first half, Mount Royal up 1-0 when Cameron Kurtz of TRU with the shot, it sails over the net. Things go from bad to worse for the Wolfpack after that as they give up four goals inside of 11 minutes. The only bright spot for TRU was this. A penalty shot by Marisa Mendoza. Her second of the year, by the way. The pack dropped both ends of their Alberta road swing, leaving coach Kelly Shantz to say. We were just very, very disorganized for the last 10 or 15 minutes. So we're looking at that, whether it's fatigue, prep, shape, something to our game uh, has, has been a bit of an issue in the last, uh, last couple of games, the uh, second halves. The men were also in Calgary. Saturday afternoon, rookie Jackson Gardner got the start and goal for the Wolf Pack. He is tested on the left side and makes the save. TRU with 13 shots in the first half, 21 on the game, but hitting the mark was an issue. The Dinos keeper making a stop here, one of three for him on the contest. Calgary's lone goal coming in the 25th minute, off a throw in, scramble in front, and Jared Filio finds pay dirt. The Wolfpack, winless in four starts now, they lose by one in Calgary despite dominating play. We just need to continue to stay positive and we're doing the right things. Um, I felt it was, it was probably our best game um, that we've had this year so far as a group. Everybody was clicking and uh, it, it was just unfortunate that we, we were not able to, to get a result. The women's volleyball team in Edmonton for their first exhibition tournament. Chad Grimm's team went five sets in all three of their matches. Unfortunately, they came out on the wrong set of each of the matches, but it's preseason. I think our team grew up quite a bit this weekend. I thought we got a little bit tougher, um, so that was a really good sign. I think uh, we need to play to our strengths. We're going to need to pass the ball well. We're going to need to surf tough, and we're going to need to defend like crazy to be successful this season. But I think this group has the makeup to do that. In baseball, the Pack were in Kelowna Sunday, meeting up with Okanagan College and the Okanagan A's. In the regular doubleheader, TRU was rocked 18-3. Second game saw the Pack rebound big time, shutting out the Coyotes. Jack Suhai, 3-4 for four with a homer, a double, a stolen base, and three RBIs. Against the A's, TRU won by four. Curtis Wall, 3-3 three for three with a triple. Justin Huckle was the winner. Looking ahead, men's soccer back in the friendly confines of Hillside Stadium. A rare Friday afternoon home match against Alberta. Kickoff is 4 o'clock. Saturday, Mount Royal comes into town. The soccer women will have a tough test again on the road this weekend as their four-match swing sees them at UVic on Friday and UBC on Saturday. Pat Henley's men's volleyball squad gets going with exhibition matches Friday and Saturday at the TCC against the always tough Trinity Western Spartans. The PAC women's basketball team visiting Calgary for a pair of preseason tilts and Calgary also the destination for TRU baseball as they have a weekend set with Calgary at Foothill Stadium. That's Wolfpack TV for this week. Don't forget you can get the latest on the teams by going to our website and check out what the teams are doing by following us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'm Larry Reed. We'll talk again in seven days.